a side hustle that averages $35 per order over a 30-day period. Sounds pretty good. This is Delivered, a last mile delivery service, specifically targeting catering. Now there's Delivered That. I've driven on that and the earnings are pretty impressive of what Deliver That claims. Specifically, each delivery paying out $25 to $35 depending on the size of the delivery on Deliver That. And yes, Delivered says that driver partners tend to average $35 per order over a 30-day period. But do you even qualify? What is the pay structure like? What do the orders look like? Do I think you'll actually be busy enough if you sign up for this platform? And what are the potential problems no one's really talking about? So to qualify on delivery, you need to be at least 21 years of age. And then basically after that, it's pretty straightforward stuff, like most any other side hustle platform. But they say availability Monday through Friday between 10 a.m. and 2 p.m. Why? They just flat out say we are busiest Monday through Friday between the hours of 10 a.m. and 2 p.m. We call it lunchtime. I know groundbreaking terminology, but that might be an actual opportunity though with catering side hustles because even Deliver That says that the other catering side hustle that I've tried here, they say the same thing, that they're busier during lunch times. Now, what are you actually going to be doing though as a delivered catering partner here? So it's basically like food delivery, just more stuff. I go to the restaurant, I'm picking up for so-and-so, a couple boxes or whatever it is, And here, you're gonna put it in a catering bag. There are two pieces of catering delivery equipment that matter most when determining the size of delivery sent to you. So it actually matters. You'll get literally better and more offers if you have this stuff. Insulated catering delivery bags and carts. A cart is like a rolling wagon. It's just, you know, like a collapsible cart there. Not necessarily a huge deal there. You're just gonna make you know more trips back to your car if you don't have that. You can actually submit pictures if you have current catering bags like I do, or you can go to their delivered driver shop, or you can get an invite link after five or 10 deliveries, and then they'll give you some bags. So you've qualified, you have the equipment here. Now let's look at the actual requests and what goes into getting better requests and more requests. Delivered actually tells us here, number one, your location. The closer to a major city you appear to be based on your GPS location, the last time you were on duty in the app, the more delivery offers will generally be available. The day of the week, we are generally, again, busiest Monday through Friday with a large concentration between Tuesday and Thursday. The time of day, we can't say it enough. Well, this is at least the second time I've told you, we are busiest between 10 a.m. and 2 p.m. I actually really do like that, that filler time for other side hustles. Even the time of year when people are working on site most, we are busiest. So holidays are generally really slow and we also are very busy right before or after them. Number five, clients in the area. We have specialized clients in many markets that require more expertise to complete the deliveries. And if you demonstrate over your first 20 to 30 deliveries that you are a reliable partner that will show up on time while creating extraordinary experiences, you will become eligible for these specialized clients' delivery orders. Now they say here, the more you do, the more that you're on time, the more you accumulate other equipment, like I mentioned, the large insulated catering bags. Frankly, you should start with getting some of these. We have an affiliate team storefront if you need some of these side hustle accessories, link down below. But that'll make you eligible for larger delivery offers with larger earnings and to complete catering delivery offers generated from, again, the clients that require additional expertise, etc. Delivered also mentions this Emerald Elite Club. The top 10% of our driver partners are eligible for an invite to our Emerald Elite Club, which gives them first access to higher paying jobs, first access to new clients, orders, recognition, and then first access to company news and information. But for us, we're just starting here. So let me show you an actual order request as someone who just got onboarded. Speaking of the onboarding process, here's what you're gonna have to go through. Basically four steps here of watching onboarding videos, but frankly, In my expertise, after I've done this side hustle work part-time and full-time in different marketplaces since 2015, I do like Delivered's onboarding process. Now, this is kind of unique because it's not like DoorDash where everything happens in the app. They actually send you a text message 
but it kind of makes sense because reading comments from our team members like you, just doing my research here, there's not going to be a ton of requests per day here. So I get it. So they're giving you the info when it's going to deliver either the day of, or they'll send you the request for the next day. So typically they're going to send it in the afternoon, the day prior for deliveries the next day. Of course, if that's not same day, we have the restaurant name, we have the earnings here. And then a response time, they want you to swipe left or right in going back into the app here within a certain amount of time. Here's one example for myself, by the way. Deliver to send an order for tomorrow, again, either same day or tomorrow, from American Natural at 10.05 a.m. with a projected earnings of $20.60. The minimum from delivered is $20. Accept or decline within five minutes in the app. Here's one thing I don't really love about Deliver that you're gonna mark on duty or off duty in the app and Delivered even says they can continue to send you requests even though you're marked off duty. Why are we doing that? So if we want the request, we're gonna click on that circle at the bottom and swipe right to accept or if you don't want it, swipe left to decline. So they're gonna give you info on when to arrive and when to make the pickup, but you do not wanna be there more than 10 minutes early at that pickup. They say you can control whether you deliver too early on 99% of occasions by not asking the restaurant about your order until you are within the 10 minutes of the pickup time. If you're too early, then the restaurant may prepare it too soon and then it's sitting around, the associates at the drop-off aren't ready. If it's too late, you're obviously wasting time there, they've been ready, and then you're late to the drop-off. And now the thing that most likely you and I care about the most, let's get into the pay. How much can I expect to earn per delivery? Per delivered, at the beginning of your experience, you're most likely to see deliveries with an average earnings of about $25. Again, that's on par with the deliver that. Drivers average around $42 per catering delivery. Again, once you're starting to do those larger deliveries. The amount earned per delivery is largely influenced by the number of deliveries you complete and your number of large insulated catering delivery bags. So to put that in perspective, I know on Deliver That, two is a standard run, like one order at a time, but four would allow you to do two orders at one time on Deliver That. So if I would advise you what to do here on Delivered, I would just get four insulated catering bags. Speaking of pay, another thing that's important to make sure you actually get the pay that you were promised here is to complete a catering run the right way. It's not just food delivery where it's leave a door or it's handed to me, let's say on DoorDash. Here with catering runs, the same thing on Deliver That. We have to actually set it up banquet style for the customer. Setting up the plates, the food, whatever it's gonna be, kind of in a buffet style line here, and then taking confirmation pictures as well. Now, interestingly, Delivered says they actually don't want you to use the in-app camera on the Delivered app preferably rather you take the picture it's saved to your gallery your camera roll on your phone and then you upload from there just want to let you know now if you do have to cancel a run and they say if you do need to cancel let us know the day prior to your delivery by 9 a.m eastern standard time that is much preferred another thing that's different than food delivery platforms that just kind of pay you directly you link your bank etc here so they're actually going to use a third party here every now if it sounds odd they're using a third party payment processor it's not exactly that odd for instance walmart spark does something very similar when our payments sent out catering order payments are sent the next business day for example an order taken on tuesday will be processed on wednesday any orders taken friday through sunday will process on monday so what's my initial verdict on delivered should you sign up is it worth it and as someone who just got activated how many orders did I start to see come through? Firstly, I like the opportunity in the catering side hustle niche. I think a lot of side hustles, food delivery, ride share, parcel, grocery, you can kind of think of it of more saturated. I think there is an opportunity in the catering space right now. I do like the numbers, of course, like the earnings claims are attractive. Granted, yes, it's directly from the company. If it's anything like Deliver That, which I've liked so far, taking basically shorter runs, if not the same mileage, it's food delivery for a higher margin payout. Because think of the basket size, like what these customers are spending, 100, 
three $500 plus items. I'm about to take my first shift driving as a delivered catering independent contractor. So make sure to subscribe so you don't miss that. But they were sending me a good amount of orders the first day that I was just looking at the app, getting comfortable with it. So the volume seemed pretty good. It is a little bit confusing, I'd say. You get the texts, but then I was offline, I was off duty, and they still sent me texts, which got a little cluttered with every other you know, side hustle app I'm trying to manage. But it wasn't the worst though, and it did seem to stop after I remained off duty. I feel like some of these platforms that are lesser known, that maybe aren't as optimized as Uber and DoorDash, where it's very streamlined, like basically zero clutter, it's very clean. Some of these other side hustles are a little bit clunkier, it's a little bit tougher to get used to, but you're gonna get used to it after a week or so of driving on it. So I'm excited for the opportunity. I think there, again, is an opportunity in the catering space. Just make sure to get the equipment, but once you have it, consider this as well. You can use that hot and cold bag, the catering bag, I should say, on regular food delivery runs as well, and then you're gonna multi-app on catering side hustles as well. So I like Delivered on a preliminary basis. You should check it out, and then stay tuned for my first shift.